Hi YouTube, it's me, Great Broad. This is a book that you can't believe is true. It's very hard to believe because corporate personhood was never voted on by the Supreme Court and it's a lie when they give corporations rights as people. We've always been taught that corporations are people. So here this guy, Hartman, comes along and says that's not true. I heard Tom Hartman on Air America radio and I couldn't believe what he was saying that the Supreme Court never declared that corporations were people even though we're assuming it. So I got the book. So let me read some passages from this book to you from the introduction. Imagine, in today's America and most other democracies, when a new human is born, they're given a social security number and instantly from the moment of birth is protected by the full weight and power of the U.S. Constitution and the Bill of Rights or their equivalent. Those rights which have been fought and paid for with the blood of our men and women in uniform fall upon us at our moment of birth. That's the way we've designed it. That's the way we've agreed it should be. Humans get human rights. They're protected. We are, after all, fragile living things that can be suppressed and abused by the powerful if not protected. And in American democracy, like most American democracies, our system is set up so that it takes a lot of work to change the Constitution, making it very difficult to deny protections to human beings, protected against first King George III, and against numerous threats, internal, external, since then, like the East India Tea Company. When papers called Articles of Incorporation are submitted to governments in America, and most other nations in the world, another type of person is brought forth. Just like a human, that new person gets a government assigned number. What most people don't realize is that this is a fairly recent agreement, a new cultural story, and it hasn't always been this way. Traditional English, Dutch, French, and Spanish law did not say that corporations are people. The U.S. Constitution wasn't written with that idea. Corporations are not even mentioned in the U.S. Constitution. For America's first century, courts all the way up to the Supreme Court repeatedly stated, no, corporations are not people. They do not have the same rights as humans. It's only since 1886 that the Bill of Rights and Equal Protection Amendment have been explicitly applied to corporations. Since 1886, corporations have had our same rights. They've stolen these rights. This book is the story of how it's happened. And what, I don't mean to sound paranoid, maybe I'm paranoid, but this book is not available in the library system in Chicagoland. Not a copy. They had to order this from a university in Chicagoland, not in the library. Unequal protection. It makes me a little bit suspicious. Even more, corporate personhood was never formally enacted by any branch of the U.S. government. It was never voted by the public. It was never enacted by law. It was never even stated by a decision after arguments before the Supreme Court. This last point will raise some eyebrows because for 100 years people have believed that the 1886 case, Santa Clara County versus Southern Pacific Railroad, did in fact include the statement, corporations are persons. But this book will show this was never stated by the court. It was added by the court reporter who wrote the introduction to the decision called Headnotes. As any law student knows, Headnotes have no legal standing. This book is about how that happened and what it has meant as events have unfolded. And like most things that are bent from their original intentions, there have been many far-reaching consequences that never were intended constitutional mechanisms that were designed to protect human beings got turned inside out so today they do a much better job of protecting corporations even when the result is harm to human beings and human life 